welcome you all see this is another kind of problem where the profile of workpiece is circular so in this case you see if the workpiece is having a rectangular shape or triangular shape or a square shape it have it will have as uh, corners so for us it will be easy to uh, define the workpiece zero point but in the, in in cases like this where workpiece is having a circular profile so how to define the workpiece zero point is we will take the axis of the workpiece and the axis we will consider it as the workpiece zero point or workpiece reference point so workpiece zero point is the point where the values of x y and z all are zero here x is zero y is zero and z is also zero here so this is how we are fixing and in this workpiece let's study about this workpiece so the, this workpiece is having two different types of holes one hole is a bigger hole at the center where x and y is zero and it has eight different holes i mean eight eight other holes which are around the big hole uh, on a pitch circle diameter that is pcd of 100 so pcd 100 on this uh, circle pitch circle it has eight small holes so the diameter of big hole is given here it is diameter 20 and the diameter of all the eight small holes is given as 5 mm and the other difference is the big hole uh, is through hole and the small holes are blind hole which has a depth of cut of 15 okay the depth of the holes are 15 mm so this much is the information about the uh, work piece. Now we have to find out the coordinate points. To start with the center hole it is easy where x and y are 0 that is 0 comma 0. When you come to this point at the first point we can say x is 50 because the pitch circle diameter is 100 so from 0 till this point it is 50 it is understood. So x is 50 y is 0 and here also uh, x will be 0 y is 50. And if you're coming to this hole again x is minus 50 y is 0 and coming to this point x is 0 y is minus 50 but the values of the whole number uh, you know with the in between holes intermediate holes this hole this hole this hole this hole we have to find out how to find you see it says that these holes are equally uh, spaced with each other actually at equal intervals that means this hole is in between the two other holes which are at 90 degree that means this hole is at a, a angular distance of 45 degree so you take 45 degree and draw a right angle triangle and use the I mean the, the tan theta formula and our sin theta cos theta formula and find out the values of uh, the y value the vertical um, uh, distance and the horizontal distance x value horizontal distance y value is the vertical distance and this value is called as a hypotenuse this hypotenuse is equal to the radius of pcd the radius of pcd is 50 so hypotenuse is known we can find out the opposite side using sine formula and hypotenuse is known and we can find out the uh, adjacent side x value using cos theta formula okay so we have calculated like this and the values are already found i will tell you the values the values at this hole is 35.35 both for x and for y both values are same because the included angle is 45 degree so x and y will be of same value so here 35.35 comma 35.35 and you will go to next hole here it is x is minus direction so minus 35.35 comma 35.35 if you come to next quadrant third quadrant both x and y are in negative direction so minus 35.35 comma minus 35.35 when you come to last quadrant it is x is positive value but y is in negative value so 35.35 comma minus 35.35 so now all the coordinate values are defined now our next point is to go to program before that we should sequence the operations because there are two different operations are there uh, which needs two different drill bits one is a drill bit of diameter 20 mm the other is a drill bit of a diameter of 5 mm two drill bits so in this programs i have uh, sequenced the bigger hole to be done first after that change the tool and do the smaller holes 
and next thing is in both uh, different types of holes I have used uh, pick drilling operation considering the depth of cut is 30 is more and 15 is also more I want to do it in incremental uh, drilling operations so let's see here now is as usual the setup phase G00 and uh, go to home point and then change the tool the first tool which it is taking is a drill bit diameter 20 for center hole the bigger holes and then absolute uh, G00 X0 Y0 Z is positive value means it is going to the position the tool is coming to this position here X0 Y0 and Z is positive 5 mm above the workpiece surface and start spindle start coolant and the spindle rotates at 1000 rpm and next is a peg drilling operation x0 y0 and z is minus 32 because the total uh, height of the workpiece is 30 or the depth of the hole is 30 since it is a through hole we can take a value more than 30 so i have taken minus 32 and i'm given incremental uh, uh, drilling as q4 4 mm do the drilling for 4 mm come out to repeat point r2 again plus 4 mm r2 like this so repeat point is 2 and feed is 80 after finishing since we have only one hole in this diameter uh, so with this we are completing in one block and then we are cancelling the peg drilling cycle so that is g00 g80 80 is for cancelling and again positive value z5 stop spindle stop coolant go to home point then optional stop optional stop means the machine is not going to shut down but the machine is in halt only but it is in on position and this is given only to change the uh, cutting tools that's the advantage of optional tool okay um, optional stop sorry and then we go to change tool m06 and tool number four is chosen before tool number nine that is for bigger diameter this is tool. i'm just giving some random numbers for tool numbers and uh, tool number four is about drill bit diameter five for all peripheral holes okay and then again this is absolute programming go to uh, zero zero means the tool again from home point it comes to this point and stands z, uh, z equal to 5 mm 5 mm above the workpiece surface and spindle is started coolant is started and then again we are using peg drilling cycle and we are directing the tool go to the point x50 y0 that means from here it comes to this point means from here it comes to this point okay and there we go go for drilling so x50 y0 z is minus 15 that uh, the depth of hole it is given as minus 15 so the drill bit will travel will travel till minus 50 z minus 15 but at an incremental value what is it incremental value q is 5 so i've given 5 because the depth of uh, cut is 15 so 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15 i didn't give 4 here here i have given 4 here i didn't give 4 if i give 4 it will go to 16 so i want 5 i mean i want 15 so i have chosen 5 you can choose 3 also 3 3 3 3 5 times i have taken 5 so 3 times is enough every time it repeats to the repeat point 2 and taking the feed value it. after finishing first hole it goes to the second hole second hole is 35.35 comma y is also 35.35 that is 35.35 if it goes to the third hole it goes uh, it takes the value of um, x is 0 y is 50 so x is 0 y is 50 and then it goes to the next value here here it is x is minus 35.35 comma y is 35.35 so x is minus 35 y is plus and like this i have given uh, the values for all these eight holes you see this is hole number one hole two hole three hole four hole five hole six hole seven hole eight after finishing all these eight holes it will come back to z is plus five and then uh, stop spindle stop coolant go to home point i mean cancel the canned cycle g83 and all so g83 is given so after finishing eight holes it will cancel the canned cycle by using g80 and then goes to the positive position z5 and then stop the spindle stop the coolant and go to home point and finally end program okay so this is the uh, uh, programs um, how to do for this kind of workpiece which has two three uh, which has two different uh, cutting tools right so this is similar to the previous problems 
only thing this is having a circular profile so that's it about this program thank you all